What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Trenchco3592. And I'm back playing some more Red Dead Redemption 2 for you guys. Howdy. This will be part 32. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Alrighty. Uh, please come in, sir. Damn. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? Well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think... Well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one well, needs to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Oh, damn. Can I drive? Nope. <sighs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. A smoke fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Mm. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just not the old bitch. <laughs> Jesus. Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they're really very so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, <laughs> easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. <laughs> they were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. He just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. <laughs> so, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> hmm. All right, then. about them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, oh. Maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. 
<laughs> Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Here, stay out of sight. I'll do the talk. Hey, hold it right there. Hold. What you want, boy? I've, I've. There, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? H here. Uh, 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 have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I I've come from Donegal in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, and before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Go to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Uh, straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy because if some folks got all the money they can build quite that fat <coughs> okay. can hold up in here till it gets dark wait what, what was he bleeding i just choked him out getting on? good here they got these things ready okay Guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rain, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. <laughs> All right. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to drop it. Oh, hey. Well, 
I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out yeah. of trouble. Alright. Let's pour this moonshine all over here. I'm gonna douse this too. Alright. What is this meat? Oh. Take you. Light her up. Woohoo! Would you look at that? Aha! <laughs> hey, well, let's go light ourselves a fat cigar. You pay for that! There we go. Got some horses on the stage. Come on. Not right now. We got company. Look out. Where are these bastards coming from? Somewhere over there, I think. Sean. The heck? No way out of here. Shoot. They didn't tell me no coming from everywhere. What? Oh, what the heck? I did not even see you there. Or you blend it in. Or I'm blind. Let's go, dog. Come on. <laughs> yeah! Let's go. Oh shoot.
Let's go. Oh damn, look at that. That's going into a late party. You call that a party? That break weight had got a money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get Oh yeah, definitely. I think we lost them. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I think it's still burning. Quite a night. Sure. Yeah. Interesting little fight Dutchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Well, guys, I think that'll be a wrap for this one. I'm trying to keep the parts short. Let me know if you want, if you guys prefer short parts or longer parts. Let me know in the comments. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.